In this complete SEO tutorial, I'm gonna show you exactly what you need to do to start ranking your business's new website in Google searches, which is gonna give you more visibility and more customers, clients, and more revenue as a result. So this is all the super high impact stuff that's gonna give you the very best results for the least effort. And it's honestly what I recommend to my paid clients because it really works when you do it right. So let's just get right into step one, decide on your keywords. So um, SEO is really all based on the keywords or key phrases that you wanna show up for when people search for them. So you'll start by writing down some of your best guesses, what you think your ideal customers are searching for. So this should be a variety of phrases, some that show actual buyer intent, like chiropractor in San Diego, as well as questions that show research intent, like, do I need a chiropractor? Write down all your ideas, then you wanna see which of these terms are gonna be your very best opportunities of actually getting found. So I recommend going to semrush.com where you can input your phrase ideas and they'll not only give you more ideas, but you'll see how many people are searching for each term every month and how competitive each one is too. So the end goal for doing this is to walk away with three to 10 of your best opportunities, balancing out these three criteria. Search volume, right? You want enough people actually searching for your phrase for it to be worth your time. Next, SEO difficulty. SEMrush shows you exactly how competitive each phrase is and even color codes them from green being the easiest to red being the hardest. Now ideally you wanna find those sweet spots of high volume and lowest difficulty. All while also keeping in mind our third criteria, which is relevance. So SEMrush is gonna give you all kinds of keyword ideas but they have to be relevant to what you're selling. So if they're showing you that chiropractor salary in San Diego is super easy to rank for and gets thousands of searches every month, that's great. But will that search lead to a new client? Probably not. So you wanna weigh out all three criteria and then decide on your top three to five keyword phrases that you wanna get started with. So once you've got your keywords, it's time for step two in the process, which is to create a long form page or post for each phrase. And I say page or post because this might be a combination of phrases that have that sales intent, in which case you'd wanna create a sales or a service page, as well as phrases that have that research intent where it'd make a lot more sense to create a thorough article or blog post that answers that question for them. And I love creating that combination of content that's designed to attract people who are ready to buy now and those people who are in the, just in the beginning stages who will be ready in the near future. That's how you start to build that runway of future customers or clients. So let's say you own a dog grooming business in Seattle. When you do your keyword research, you may come back with these top three phrases dog grooming Seattle, dog nail trimming Seattle, and how much does dog grooming cost? So in this case, you might want to optimize your homepage for the term dog grooming Seattle, create a service page that's dedicated to nail trimming as a service, and you'd want to create an article addressing the question, how much does dog grooming cost? So how exactly should you create those pages and what needs to go into each of them to stack the deck in your favor to rank as high as possible. Well, the first thing you wanna do for each of these key pages is write them as completely and in-depth as possible. Um, it's not enough anymore to just stuff your pages with your keywords over and over again, right? You need to cover the topic better than the other listings that would also appear next to you in the search results. So depending on your level of competition, you'll wanna write these pages to be at least 1,500 words but quite possibly two to 3,000 words if you're up against some really tough competitors. And my secret weapon that I like to use here is the SEMrush SEO Writing Assistant. It's just a really convenient WordPress add-on that can analyze all your pages and posts against your desired keyword phrases to see how you're doing and what needs improvement. 
So you can use that tool to help you go deep and to cover every important aspect of your topic using multiple sections and subheadlines. And of course, within this long form content, you need to include your keyword phrase in some important places, including in the page title and URL. So if you're creating your site in WordPress, just install the Rank Math SEO plugin, and from there you can control your page titles and URLs really easily. So if you were trying to rank for Dog Nail Trimming Seattle, your URL for that page would be something like pikeplacepooches.com slash dog nail trimming Seattle. You also want to use your phrase in the top headline on your page, what we call the H1 tag as seen here. Next, you'll want to use it at least once within the first 100 words of normal body text, at least once in a secondary H2 or H3 heading. Just think of those as all the subheadings on your page. You'll also want to include an image that you've uploaded with the exact phrase as the file name. For instance, this photo named dog nail trimming seattle.jpg, and then you want to use your phrase on the alt text on that photo too. And you can very easily do that with that Rank Math SEO plugin. So, and just so you know, alt text is just behind the scenes text that you put on an image that is not readable by people, they'll never see it, but Google can see it. And for some extra credit here, you can actually upload a video to YouTube and name it with your keyword phrase and then embed that on the page as well. Because Google owns YouTube and by creating more of a multimedia experience on your web pages, complete with your keyword phrase in the title and description of your video, you're creating a really synergistic experience that Google tends to reward. Plus, you get the extra benefit of engaging your site visitors for longer which is, in turn, another ranking signal to Google. And that video could be anything from a testimonial to an overview of your entire business or a specific service, anything really. And when it comes to SEO, one of the best places you can be found is right here in the map listings. So click right here to watch the next video where I'll be showing you what you should be focused on to maximize your Google business profile, which is your ticket to being discovered in your local area. So click this video and I'll see you over there.